All right, good day everybody. It is Thursday afternoon. Market just closed and boy oh boy, over a thousand points down again today. Unbelievable. So down was down 1011 points, down a little over 4% and kind of crazy here. Look at this. Market is look at this, right back down again. So rallied up. All right rallied up to about the 50 percent line like i talked about yesterday and right back down now if you take a look at that candle that's a that's a reversal candle right opened up near or on the low of the day rallied all the way up and then closed all the way down in here very much a reversal and look at this market opened up and just pretty much down all day with some nice pullbacks some great day trading um setups for sure so, but on the strategy that I've been outlining since Friday, uh, yeah, since Friday, the second, remember we put on a third here, a third here, and today was my final third right in here. Now, I should have outlined it the right way, but how I usually do it is, like I outlined on, I think on Monday is, I do two, three, and five. So, however that is in terms, if that's whether whether that's a percentage or a dollar amount. So, if you were to look at this trade and say, okay, I only want to throw ten thousand dollars at a at a trade like this, where you're getting in three different times, right? One, two, and three. You would first start off. You go two thousand or or two percent if you want to use percentage. 3% or 3,000. And then on your last entry into the market, it would be 5,000 or 5%. So 2%, 3%, and 5% to have a 10% position based on your account balance, which really makes the most sense, okay, in terms of uh, do it percentage wise. And then you would figure out how many shares you would go, okay? So 2, 3, and 5 is typically how I do it. But the way I outlined it with you was a third, third, and a third. And so this is our last entry. So our average price on this would be somewhere right in here, a little lower than today's high. So again, close below 10, right at 8.79. And so we're looking for the RSI to close back up through this high here. <clears throat> excuse me, and to close at 55 or above. That would be, that's my dynamic stop on this, okay? So on this day, I close at 38.68. We're, again, we're looking for, well, we could put a cursor on there, can't we? We're looking at 55, which would be right there. So we're looking for the RSI to close at 55 or above, and that would just take us out of the entire position. So, um, However that happens, we'll, we, we will soon find out. Yesterday I outlined Apple, Facebook, and Baidu, and the trade setups were basically looking for a penetration up through the high of the inside vertical bar. We did not get it, of course. We had a lower high and a lower low on Apple. On Facebook, of course, we had a lower high and a lower low, right? Never took out the high. And on Baidu, same thing. We had a tight little inside bar here. I like this pattern at the 200. If the market had penetrated up through the high, we did not get the penetration through the high. Instead, we traded right down through the low and closed near the lows. Okay, so none of those were triggered. Let's take a look real quickly at gold. Now, if gold, you know, gold is inflationary, right? Uh, market's getting killed, so where's the safe haven? The safe haven would be gold, I would think, right? So I'm surprised gold did not rally today, seeing that the market was selling off. So, how I'm going to play this is right there. If tomorrow we can penetrate up through the high of 125.44 to 125.54, a 10 cent or 20 cent penetration, doesn't really matter, up through GLD, which is the gold ETF, that's what I'd be looking to do. And again, my last and final uh, position was put on in the SSO right in here. All right, hope that helps. Have a great evening, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.